Yo, what up, everybody? A cardboard Moses, which you welcome. Time to do 2018 Classics Football, five bucks break, number 42. So good, we had to do it a 40-second time. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, there it is, everything on the screen for you. Coolio. All right, let me go grab the stuff. What are we doing? Classics, right? Yeah. Jimmy Graham was a huge disappointment for me yesterday. I was hoping he would have a big game, but the Bears defense, they got a good defense. Khalil Mack already making a huge, huge difference for him. Like the first half, Khalil Mack was unstoppable. Bears can make some noises, y'all know. I like I like the biscuit. You know, but uh, I don't know. The, the, I, I want to say the play calling in the last two, three minutes of the game for the Bears there. Dude, they had a third and one. And they opted to throw the ball when they were in the red zone. That kind of, uh, that kind of hurt them. And they had to settle for a field goal. That, that was that was that was a killer. And then you know they left Aaron Rodgers with way too much time. Never want to do that. Who's the new coach for the Bears? But yeah, Michael, to answer your question, I, I always watch Monday Night Raw. I'm not going to watch it. I, I Actually, I never watch it live. I usually watch, like, uh, there's, there's the YouTube channel that uh, basically gets the three-hour show and condenses it to, like, 30 minutes. So I could pretty much watch the entire show minus the BS. And, yeah, I'm pretty sure that was not Seth Rollins. But if it was, that would be awesome. And if he did shut me out, that would be... I would probably faint. I might faint. John Fox last year, and now it's Matt Nagy. I don't know who that dude is. But, man, the Bears were winning pretty much the entire game. And then here comes Mr. Discount Double Check. Gotta love Aaron Rodgers, man. That, that was awesome to see. And I, I can't wait to see Kian's dad in the chat so I can talk some smack. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got here. Good luck, y'all. Oh, let me adjust this here. To my liking. There we go. All right. Rashad Penny, rookie. Hey, Jason Taylor, 299 Dolphins. Julio Scott, rookie. Hey, Dan Marino, that's to 175. Harold Landry rookie. The Falcon sticker. Got a random these classic clashes. Trey Quinn rookie. Kalaletta rookie. What up, Big Greg? Christopher Herndon, 299 rookie. Devin Bellamy, rookie. There. What's up, Richard? Jet sticker. Nick Chubb, rookie. Got that there. Marcel Aitman, rookie. 
Ozzie Newsom, 299 Browns. Bradley Chubb, rookie. What's in this stack here? We got uh, Mr. Aaron Rodgers and Jordy Nelson. For the Packers, there, dual relic. Robert Foster, rookie. Gronkowski, 299 Patriots. Richie James, rookie. Isaiah Oliver, to 50 rookie. Tony Brown, rookie. Tyreek Hill to 99 Chiefs. Jair Alexander rookie. Here's the autograph. Royce Freeman to 49 for the Broncos. What time is the football game? Deion Kane rookie. Well, it's a double header, so better question is what what time is the first game? Yeah, there's two games tonight, uh Michael, if, I, if I'm not wrong, the first game is Lions-Jets. And then the second game is the West Coast game, the Rams and the Raiders, which should be an interesting game. All right, that is uh, one box down. 4 o'clock gear time, so 7.30 East, East or 7, 7.30 East Coast time. Dylan G says 7.30. As long as it's not like that Dolphins game last night that took about seven hours to complete. Dolphins in the record books yet again, baby. The longest ever NFL game. Yesterday, Dolphins and Titans took a little over seven hours. And we won! So not only are we... The only perfect team in NFL history. We are now the proud owners of yet another accolade. The longest game in NFL history. And we won. Can you say championship? On the left coast? That's funny. Well, listen. Uh, in case you guys don't know. I got a 10-box case of this stuff in the store. Classics football. 10-box case. I have 19 teams left. I got the Niners, the Bears, Bengals, Bills, Broncos, Bucks, Cardinals, Chargers, Cowboys, Eagles, Falcons, the Jets, Panthers, Patriots, Raiders, Ravens, Saints, Seahawks, and the Texans. All up for grabs. Uh, Richard, I will check on that once I'm done with the eBay breaks. I am going to get all the eBay breaks done first. And then I will uh, check on that. Okay, so listen, I couldn't help myself, Richard. So to respond to you, first of all, no need to apologize, Richie. I completely understand, dude. Uh, happy wife, happy life, dog. Uh, secondly, for the flawless case, don't worry about it. You don't owe me nothing. Um, and the $50 break credit, yeah, you want some break credit for uh, one of the dailies. So there you go. 50 bucks your way, Richard. And fourth and foremost, uh, there's no I don't have to forgive you because you did nothing wrong. And thank you for being uh, for being that dude, Richard. Boom, I just responded to your email without having to respond to your email. All right, a Nick Chubb rookie chrome, a Ronnie Harrison rookie. Absolute is the last break, Casey. It's the fourth break in the schedule. So if I had to give you a, a guess as far as what time is going to take place, I would say maybe an hour and a half from now. Um, but Casey, we, we do have the schedule of the eBay breaks in each of the uh, the descriptions. Or I should say in each listing in the description, we have a break schedule. Our eBay breaks start at 5 o'clock, and like I said, they do follow a schedule. 
Absolute number four is the fourth break in the schedule. So if each break takes about 30, 45 minutes or so, you know, I would guess around 6, maybe 6.30, that absolute break will take place. They showed Hamilton rookie there. We got uh, Mr. Howie Long of the Raiders. Dude, freaking nature. You have no idea. Dude, if I had, bro, I swear to God, it never fails. Every day. Every day, I get at, at least one person ask me, Oh, uh, uh, what, 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 what is, what is this break? And I'll be like, dude, seriously, you, you can't read, you, you don't know how to, the, whatever. All right, you said I passed the numbered card. Probably this one, Jim Otto, two ninety nine Raiders. Good call, uh, John Johnson. It's nice to know that somebody's watching. Uh, Saquon Barkley. I don't know. I don't know. Tavares McFadden, rookie. If it wasn't for that one, like, 60-something yard run he had, his rookie debut would have been a uh, a failure in my book. I, I wouldn't consider him the real deal. Not yet, anyway. Raleigh Ferguson, rookie. Then again, the Panthers have a really good defense. Actually, no, I lied. That's the Cowboys that played the Panthers. Giants played the Jaguars. Oh, pff, come on, dude. Jaguars, one of the best defenses in the league. I want to say Saquon is the real deal, but, you know, it's only been week one. Let's pump the brakes a little bit. What's up, Alan? Demarius Thomas to 50 Broncos. James Washington rookie. We got here a Jim Otto, numbered one of five. Raider autograph. Dude, James Conner saved a few people's weeks. I, for one, was not anticipating or expecting James Conner to ball the way he did. Azeem Victor, rookie. A lot of people, you know, oh, Le'Veon Bell, who? Nah, come on. Don't don't, don't kid yourselves. James Conner can't, 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 can't even wear Le'Veon Bell's jockstrap. Let, let's just be honest. He had one great game. Le'Veon Bell's been great for years. Let, let, let's settle down, people. On, on the James Conner hype. Cameron Playway, 299. Rookie there. Break of Mayfield, rookie. Le'Veon Bell's going to get paid regardless. So if I were him, I would just chill in the crib. You know? Maybe get the, get on the treadmill every now and then. But I'm chilling. Akram Wadley, rookie. I think the Steelers have made it clear... That they have no intentions of signing Le'Veon Bell to a long-term contract, so it's been it's been it's been nice, Pittsburgh. It's been nice. Lorenzo Carter, rookie. Anthony Miller, rookie. How did Jimmy G do in his first uh, actual game? Yeah, Alan, actually, yeah, he, James Conner had cancer, like, in college, beat it, and now he's in the pros, dog. Kevin Tolliver to 99, rookie there. Lolo lo, Tolele, rookie. I like, dude, not, not to say James Conner's not a bad, he's a great running back. He was really good in Pittsburgh, put up good numbers. Great, great kid, you know what I mean? Been through some stuff, got through it, great kid. But, uh, no offense, man, but he's... Nowhere near Le'Veon Bell's level. Lawrence Taylor, the 99 Giants. I promise you, Le'Veon Bell played last night. They would have beat the Browns. And it would not have been close. It, it would not have gone to overtime. Lamar Jackson, rookie. Like, the guy is that much of a difference maker, bro. Le'Veon Bell can do it all. Just pay the man. They, you know, that, there's a, there you go. Steeler fan. Pay the man. Just pay the man, damn it. Josh Rosen, 3 out of 10 right there for the Cardinals. So, uh, you know, uh, I'm assuming Jimmy G didn't do all that well, Marcus, if you're telling me he's going to be just fine. Usually that means he didn't do too well his first game. A lot of people on that hype train. 
I for one was not buying it. But hopefully, hopefully he could turn things around. Again, I don't know what he did his first game, but Mariota to 175 there for the Titans. Malik Jefferson rookie. Yeah, well, listen, nobody could be Joe Montana. Steelers uh, sticker there. Yeah, Jimmy G got some weapons. Uh, again, I, I don't know what he did his first game, but that dude got some weapons, man. Marquise Goodwin, I think that's his name. That kid can fly. Damn, he had three picks? That's not good at all. Who'd he play anyway? Oh, Goodwin was hurt? Yeah, it's like his number one receiver. Who else do? Oh, they don't have Carlos Hyde anymore. So there goes the run game. Uh, I don't know who they have at running back out there. Oh, they played the Vikings, huh? Oh, dude, Vikings. Vikings probably have top top five defense in the league. You know, last year's NFC Championship game was is kind of like a. Like an asterisk, but Vikings D is definitely the real deal. Oh, man. Looking like they got to do some... Uh some extra, uh, extra, extra training or something out there in, uh, in San Fran. Got to hold on to that ball, man. Dude, Allen, my, my my boys won, baby. Dolphins won in uh, in the longest game in NFL history. Dolphins Titans yesterday was delayed a lot because of uh, weather, and it was a one o'clock game. The game wasn't over until like eight something. Uh, the game took a little over seven hours to, to finish, given all the delays and whatnot. Officially the longest game in NFL history. And we won! Given, you know, Marcus Mariota went down at some point in the third quarter. We sacked him and he got hurt or something like that. So they put in Blaine Gabbert and that pretty much sealed the deal for the Titans. So. But I'll take the win any way I can get it. I will take a W any way I can get it. Eagle sticker. So, Marcus, I, I I can see you are a uh, a Niner fan. Carry on, Johnson rookie dude. I love that football is back. Hell yeah! My favorite time of year. Oh well, well thank you. I, I will take my congratulations because I I don't get many of those <laughs> for the Dolphins. <laughs> Interesting, interesting. Tannehill looked good, man. I don't think I've ever said that ever. But Tannehill was impressive. He was changing calls. He was calling audibles. He was, man, he looked like a quarterback out there for like the first time ever. He looked like a quarterback. I guess sitting down for almost two years and having uh, Coach Gase in your ear, you know, might, might, might have done something for him. Jaleel Scott rookie there. Yeah, and few and far between for, for, for the Dolphins. Very true. But I'll take the win, exactly. I will take the win. That is all that matters. Simi Cobbs Jr. autograph 1 of 10. There's been some low-numbered autos in this. Have. Gotta pull. Yeah, there you go. Gotta pull for the Dolphins, man. I mean, no, you don't have to, but. For me, you do. Robert Foster, rookie. I love my Dolphins, man. I've been a fan for as long as I can remember. My entire life. Been through the good and the bad. 
mostly <laughs> mostly bad. <laughs> Kenyon Drake to two ninety nine Dolphins. This kid is gonna have a breakout year this year. I don't know why we stopped running the ball in the second half. We we were having some success with it. All right, this stack is getting a little too tall for me. Dude, I, man, I, I, I only saw Marino, like, towards the end of his career, and that dude could still throw the ball a mile. Kyle Lau, let a rookie. Like, I remember his last year, 99. He had a terrible year get by his standards, but he was still, I was still in awe watching that old man throw that ball as far as he used to. Sammy D, 175 for the uh, Jets. Uh, Kenyon Drake is Alabama. Kenyon Drake was from Alabama. Friend Brandon Fikerson. Dude, Kenyon Drake is a beast. Dolphins might have a really good rushing attack. We, we got some nice balance out there. Kenyon Drake is our, our first running back, and then we spell him with Frank Gore, the uh, number five leading rusher in NFL history. Not bad at all. Larry Allen of the Cowboys, 299. What happened to the Cowboys, man? The Cowboys got spanked yesterday. Tony Brown rookie. I want to say Zeke Elliott and Dak Prescott did uh, absolutely nothing. Who's my favorite player on the Dolphins currently? Whew. I would have to probably say Rashad Jones. Safety. Strong safety uh, for the Dolphins. He's been my favorite player for the Dolphins probably since he came in uh, about five or six years ago. He played for Georgia. And, in my opinion, one of the best safeties in the league. My favorite current Dolphins player. But all time, I would probably have to say Chris Chambers. Not many people know about Chris Chambers. Bradley Chubb, rookie chrome. But, man, one of the most fun receivers to ever see, ever. Joshua Jackson, rookie. And he retired as a Dolphin, which was awesome. Dude, Rashad Jones lays the hammer, dude. Rashad Jones lays the hammer down. He's he's he is a complete safety. He can cover, he can hit, he can tackle. He's a ball hawk. I I love Rashad Jones. I really do. Fifty out of fifty. Doug Williams, the blank back. Short print for the Bucks. Yeah, man. Chris Chambers, the receiver. Dude, Chris Chambers. Like. At least for me, anyway, was the master of the tippy toe catch on the sidelines. Oh yeah, dude, what Dupree back in the day? Hell yeah! But you know that was you know I was a little too young to like really watch him. I've seen tape of him and whatnot. Um, same with uh, with Paul Warfield back in the day. Orande Gadsden. We we've had some really good receivers in Miami. We had some good players. Period. But yeah, like personally. I got to go Chris Chambers, man. Chris Chambers. Those are some fun Dolphins teams to watch. Chris Chambers at receiver. Chris Carter also played for us that one season. We had Randy McMichael. People forget, forget about Randy McMichael. He was a really good tight end back in the day. Um, we had some good teams, man. We had probably one of the best defenses in the league. We just we just couldn't score the ball. Tyreek Hill, Kareem Hunt. Do a relic there for the Chiefs. Yeah, not many people know about Chris Chambers. Chris Chambers was the man. And then he went to San Diego, and he 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 was he was all right. Oh, dude, how could I forget Zach Thomas? One of the most underrated middle linebackers ever. And Jason Taylor. I mean, dude, we've freaking uh, Brock Marion at safety, or uh, not Sam Madison at corner, Patrick Sertain at the other corner, locking down receivers. Oh man. Dude, we used to have a sick defense. We just couldn't score the ball, man. Rayfield right to 99 Cowboys. For a while, the Dolphins had a really, really good defense. And then I remember we got Ricky Williams. He put up like a, like stupid numbers one season. And we failed uh, to advance in the playoffs. But everybody in the mama was saying, oh, watch out. Watch out for the Dolphins next year. Super Bowl champs, and then guess what? Ricky Williams is like, you know what? I'm going to retire. 
Just, you know, of course, it would, it would happen to the Dolphins. Malik Jefferson, the 299 rookie. Nick Chubb, rookie. Joe Namath, the 25 for the Jets. Trey Quinn, rookie. Super Duper. Hell yeah, man. Mark Clayton and Mark Duper, man, balling. But, I, you know, I've always wanted a Paul Warfield jersey. I, w I would like a jersey from, like, a few of those 72 uh, players. Like a Mercury Morris jersey would be pretty fire. A Bob Greasy, number 12. A Larry Sanka. I, ne I needs me a Paul Warfield jersey, though. Just because it looks super dope on a jersey. Warfield. And one of the you know, one of the greatest receivers of all time, Paul Warfield. All right, we're on box four right now. Dude, I love football. I love it. hours before football is back on. <sighs> Isn't there like Thursday night football every week now? N nowadays? Alright, what do we have here? Lolo oh, low, low Tulele, rookie. Josh Adams, 299, rookie. Azim Victor, rookie. Marshawn Lynch, 299, Raiders. Lamar Jackson, rookie. Ronald Jones, 2 out of 10. Rookie for the Buccaneers. That is nice. There's been some low-numbered autos in this, yo. Very nice. Very, very nice. Might as well top-load this bad boy, too. All right. Baker Mayfield, rookie. So Rod Taylor didn't have the best game. I wonder. Oh man, should they should they put Baker Mayfield if Terod Taylor continues his uh, average play to say the least? Jordan Thomas, two ninety nine rookie. Caleb Balaj, rookie. Deshaun Hamilton, rookie. Ryan Tannehill, 1099 for the Dolphins. We made a minor change to our jerseys, but it's such a nice change. Uh, I want me, I want me a Dolphin jersey. My birthday's in November, so if anybody wants to, you know, make a donation, uh, I'll wear an extra large. That'd be nice. Tony Gonzalez to 175 Chiefs. Lawrence are quite a rookie. Dude, I, I freaking love Baker Mayfield. Although I will, I, I do think to Rod Taylor. Gives the Browns the best chance to win, like, right now, though. Eagle sticker. Anthony Miller, rookie. I don't know, Richard. Dude, Ben Roethlisberger, five turnovers, bro? Y you gotta give the defense credit for some of that, dude. Denzel Ward, two picks as a rookie. Freaking Miles Garrett was a monster. A man amongst boys. I told you guys don't sleep on the Browns, especially that defense. Watch out for them. Watch out for them. Jim Kelly of the Bills with a patch. You know, but who credit the Steelers for blocking the, the field goal to at least, you know, have it a tie game. 
By the way, why don't they go into double overtime? That is... That's kind of foolish. Ogden of the Ravens, 299. Ronnie Harrison, rookie. I say let them keep playing. Ties are so... Like, there are no ties in sports. You win or lose. There is no tie. Keep playing until you can't pl play any more players. Matthew Stafford, Lions, 2 out of 10. Oh, but what if they get hurt, Uncle Jesse? I don't care. This is football. You're supposed to get hurt. Akron Wadley, rookie. But, you know, I, 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 I hear what you're saying, though, Richard. They were up 21-7 at one point. Like, come on. You, 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 you got to win that game. Like, you, just, you just have to. Christopher Herndon, rookie. Tavares McFadden, rookie. And now, the last box. Let me, uh, what is this? 2 to 10, 2 10, 1 10, 5. Alright. Last box of Moho. Let me pull up this checklist because I'm going to need it. You know what I'm saying, Richard? Just play until somebody wins. Like I don't, or or until the other, or, or until a team forfeits or something. Oh, you know I can't play any more players, or oh I'm afraid I'm one of my players is gonna get hurt. You know what? I forfeit. USA is the only country that has overtime in pretty much every sport. Really? They don't have overtime in. Uh... In kangaroo races out there in Australia? I'm joking. I, I don't know what they do in Australia. It's a joke. It's a joke, right? Not a very good one, but it's a joke. You know, that, that's, you know, this country was founded on that. There are winners and there are losers. And dang it, in the U.S. of A., we are winners. So we will keep playing until a winner will be decided. There is no tie. Man, we go to extra innings, overtime, sudden death, whatever you want to call it, man. My thing is this, in a competition, there are only two outcomes. You win or you lose. Ain't no partition nor no participation trophies in life. You win or you lose. That's it. There is no gray area. Black or white. Win, lose. Well, see soccer, so see soccer. I'm I am a big 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 proponent of the of the golden ball of the golden of the golden goal i used to love that first person to score wins boom after regular time first team to score wins that's it i, I don't know why they got rid of that that rule you know penalties are kind of uh yeah the you know I like penalties if it's like a big tournament, but like for a regular match, yeah, get you know, get a good. It's either three points or zero. But in, in soccer, it works out. In soccer, it, it works out. Yeah, you see, you see exactly. Golden goal is you know. See, I like golden goal. I like the golden goal. Cause I, I like there to be some finality. Either I'm better than you, or you're better than me. That's it. I can live with that. I can't live with, oh, we tied. Oh, no. What up, Chris Fitz? Tony Brown, rookie. Dallas Goder, rookie Chrome. Carry on Johnson, rookie. 
Sammy Darnold, 299. Chris Fitz, Sammy Darnold gonna get his first start today. Are you nervous? Sammy Cobbs Jr. Oh, of course you well, why would you be nervous? And that's the beauty of it, Jimbo. That's why I, that's why I love it. You gotta be, as we say, on your P's and Q's. Ronnie Harrison, two ninety nine Patriots. That's that's why I love the golden the golden goal rule. You make one mistake, it could cost you the match. Micah Kaiser rookie. But you know, I, I, I do like what they do now. In in the uh, at least in like some of the major tournaments where you know they they'll go to extra time, two periods. If you're still tight after that, you go to penalties. I like PKs. PKs are cool. It, it adds a little bit to the drama, which is what we all love in soccer. But man, bring back the golden, bring back the golden goal. Bring it back. I guess so, Chris Fitz, because I said hi to you and you, you you ignored me, so I figured you were mad at me or something. But dude, I, I'm streaming on I'm streaming on it, so I don't I don't know what's going on. The Gronk Man to ninety nine Patriots got that going on. Fitz, you gotta be fired up, bro. Sammy Darnold, his first start today. Oh boy, the Darnold era begins. I wonder. I wonder if he's gonna go. I wonder if he's gonna have a a a, a Peterman kind of uh, debut. Over or under five picks. I'm, I'm gonna put him under. I'll put him under just for you, Fitz. Deshaun Watson to 25 Texans. Jair Alexander rookie. Uh, how does college football do their overtime now? It's like you both have a chance to score. Or something like that, right? The biscuit, two ninety nine for the Bears. He looked, he looked decent uh, last night. He looked like a quarterback back there. Kyle Lauletta, rookie. But the Bears still couldn't find a way to uh, to stop Mister Discount Double Check. Joshua Jackson, rookie. Sam Darnold's the real deal. Holyfield, we shall see. Uh, well, fits. I, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. But it's 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 been on. I, I don't know. I guess I guess it's just one of those days, maybe. Nick Chubb, rookie Chrome. You know how you know how it is, Fitz. One minute is working. The next is like you. No brave. It's 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 working. I'm Chris Fitz is talking to me right now. Brian Dawkins, Chrome. Marcel Aitman, rookie. Brian Dawkins, two ninety nine Eagles. Do I don't I feel like I don't see players with the visors anymore. Did they stop doing that? I think they did. Robert Foster rookie, maybe something about like a competitive advantage or something, because you can't see the eyes. Maybe I don't know where he's going. That's not fair. Rashad Penny rookie. I like the visors. It looks so, especially on my man Brian Dawkins, so intimidating. I wish he won a championship, man. I love Brian Dawkins. Jaleel Scott, rookie. And that's going to do it for the break. Um, Hold on here. We only got four autographs. Did I miss something? I don't think I passed any, did I? One of you guys would have caught it. I think I know why. Because in last uh, yesterday's half, there was uh, six autographs, and in this one's there there was four. So which which would equal out to ten total autographs for the ten box case. But let me just double check all these here just in case. But it looks like we only got four autographs. Four autos and four patches. That is That is alarming. What about through these? 
Nope, nothing there. Yep, we only got four autos and four relics in this half. But if you check the video for uh, yesterday's half, there were uh, six autographs in it. Yeah, I went through the rest of that box and doesn't look like I missed an auto. You know, double checking never hurts. The on average strikes again. This is very true. Very true. What does it say? One auto and one relic per box on average. That's 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 how they get away to uh, to do that. Yeah, Alan, they did, and I, I did that break already. It's actually already on our YouTube channel. If I'm not mistaken, it was Origins number one that happened with. So the title of the video is Origins Number One Part Two. You can look it up on our YouTube channel. All right, so we did. Uh, we did only get four autographs. Sucks, but that's that on average business. All right, so now we got to do a little random, like this. We got to random these. Who is it going to? The left side team or the right side team? Well, real simple. I'm gonna roll six sided die. If I roll an odd number, it's going to go to the left side team. If I roll an even number, right side team. Odd left, even right. Here we go. Number three is odd, so Bears, Seahawks, Cowboys, Vikings, Packers, Bengals, Bears, Cowboys, Bears, Packers, Bengals. Let me write this down. And now, I'm going to do another random. This one's going to be for any undrafted slash unsigned players. Now, some players do go undrafted, but eventually they get signed by a team. In that case, it's going to go to their current team. So... If they didn't get drafted and they didn't get signed by a team, that's what this random is for. Some players did not get drafted, have not been signed by a team. So let's find them at home here. Throw the die. Number one, Chris Fitz. I've been through my fair share of Hurricanes, man. And I can understand where you're coming from. But, I mean, as long as, if you're prepared, man... No worries, Chris Fitz. You got hurricane insurance and all that stuff? You, you should be Gucci, bro. All right. But, you know, I, I completely understand what you're coming from, man. Just prepare and you'll be all right. All right. Ray, well, not sure if, uh, not sure if you know this or not, but if you buy into Absolute Football or Vanguard Basketball, we are giving uh, double spots for today's daily giveaway, which was extended until 11 o'clock. So, if you buy into an absolute, if you buy a team in absolute football, for each team you buy, you get two spots in the daily giveaway. Same with Vanguard Basketball. All right, so. Well, Chris Fitz, are, are your houses insured? In, 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 if they are, then you have nothing to worry about, brother. All right. Let's go ahead and random this thing eight times. Top team will be receiving any of the undrafted slash unsigned uh, players. Here we go. Good luck. Absolute is gorgeous, so I'm, I'm honestly surprised it has not been getting any love. I put that little promo together, though. And number eight. Boom. Eight times. Top team is the Redskins. 
Come on. Come on. Boom, boom. All right, let's get this down. This is this is true, Chris Fitz. This is true. All right, let's recap this, though. Got a Jim Kelly Bills, a Chiefs Dual Relic, Howie Long Raiders, and a Packer Dual Relic. Autographs. Got a Royce Freeman to 49, Broncos. Ronald Jones the second number two out of ten, he is a Buccaneer. Simi Cobbs Jr. one of ten, not sure what his team is. Checklist says Simi Cobbs Jr. is a Redskin, and Jim Otto one out of five autograph for the Raiders. And that was the break. Thank you very much. We'll get that out to you.